Hey guys, Matt here at The Basement Studio, and today Sonable has dropped a plug-in of something that I find near and dear to my heart, and I have found that with other engineers, we have two things that we share a common camaraderie over, and that's excellent coffee and a de-esser that does what it says it does. And I think Sonable has hit the nail on the head with this. I own all of the de-essers. Some of them out there are very good, uh, but it's hard to just rely on one to do it all and actually dial it in and it not sound very lispy and like your Donald Duck, uh, you know, in your vocal. And I think they've hit the nail on the head with this and we're just gonna jump right in. We're gonna look at the plugin interface real quick so you have a quick understanding, but then we're just gonna hear how it sounds because that's the whole point of this is it sounds really good. So let's just dive in here. Uh, first things first is as soon as it pops up, like all their other smart plugins, you can analyze whatever the signal is. In this case, it's gonna be voice. Um, and I've already done that. And it gets you a good basic foundation of where it needs to be set. And then you can just tweak from there. It's a great feature with these plugins. And the the neural network that they've built works really well in, in this new AI world we're in. And underneath that, we've got the mode, which allows it to run basically broadband full range or in split mode, which opens up these sections here where you can dial in the range on the sibilants, and it also has a deplosive section in here too. So it's got two different algorithms working for you on the vocal. And you can delta the signal and hear that range separately. And then over here, this is the difference delta between the actual process of what it's actually, you know, what S is in, in that type of stuff is actually getting reduced in the signal. So you can fine tune that and make sure you're not cutting off anything that doesn't need to cut off or that it's you know hitting what you need it to hit as well uh, and then it has two different spectrograms you kind of have this vertical one here and then you got the horizontal one that that runs with the playback and you can see the game reduction in real time it's it's beautiful uh, right here we have the metering section along with a gain range limit so if you don't want it to to go past a certain threshold of how much you want it to reduce you can adjust that and it has a, a wet dry mix here as well. A speed detector uh, circuit here. Um, I have found that I like the fast one usually because I'm typically wanting to not not hear it. And if you, if you have something in a mix where you kind of want it to bite through, you may go with a slower speed. And then over here is where the money maker is. This is the detection circuit and at, this is what's doing the heavy lifting here. And on the sibilant side, it has a few different color options of how it uh, attacks and treats the um, the, the, the sibilants. And uh, on this particular vocal, sharp seem to do the, the best work, the most natural work. And then the shaping function allows you to shape that spectral section. Um, it gives you different bits of color. You can just play with it and see what you like. And obviously suppression is gonna be how aggressive it's attacking the sibilance and same for the plosive section. It's doing the same thing. You can kind of adjust the color of how it's attacking it and then how much gain reduction you want it to do. And then we have the bypass. And we're gonna start in bypass and this vocal we cut on a 251 and after post compression, it had a little bit of uh, some sharp S's on some of the phrases. So I'm gonna play the phrase here in solo and then play it uh, w with the circuit on and listen to the difference. When the world is green with hope. Well, it might help if we find the right phrase. Let's just run a little bit here. In the blazing sun of summer. There we go. You can hear those S's like crazy right there. This is with the plug-in. In the blazing sun of summer. In the blazing sun of summer. In the blazing sun of summer. Sounds beautiful. Working, doing exactly what I needed to do. And in the track, again, this is a very sparse track. It's just piano and some strings. And it's very tender. So some of those S's just need to just sit back in the track. So if we play a little bit of a couple phrases here in the track, I'll start with it bypassed and we'll do it a couple times with it instantiated. In the blazing sun of summer is the light that lets me know. In the blazing sun of summer is the light that lets me know. me 
there you go. It's just sitting in the track now, just right. It's not lispy. It's capturing and, and, and reducing everything I need it to. It's not pulling anything uh, else. Sometimes you'll have, you know, ends of phrases and stuff that kind of have a lot of higher frequency content, and it'll pull it down in the, the, the detector circuit, and it's like, man, what's going on there? And you're always having to fiddle and finick with thresholds and automate. This, once I found the setting I want, over the, the whole broad scope of the track, it just did everything I needed it to do. So it's this is definitely going to be a part of my workflow moving forward. I definitely recommend you go and uh, download a demo and try it for yourself.